Benvenuto! Welcome to the hunt for the Scudetto episode 3. Today we're going to hunt for the Coppa Italia. Me and the boys have traveled the long way to Verona to play in this third qualifying round of the Coppa Italia. This is going to happen at this wonderful stadium, Marco Antonio Bentegori in Verona. Since we left last time, the Italian Serie C promotion odds has been released. And take a look at this. Pro Vercelli, we are the main contenders to gain promotion. But now, no surprise there. But now we can see who the main other contenders is. We have Tanana, Tlabani, Catania, Matera and so on. Juvestapia, Catania as we know them from Series A. That is not too long ago. Let's take a look at the third qualifying round of the Coppa Italia. As we see, there's already lots of Italian Serie A teams in this competition. So maybe this drawing of Verona wasn't too bad at all. We are ready for this one. Can we move on further in the Coppa Italia and gain a little run? That could be so much fun. The Provocellian guys, this is still the off season in Italy. But we are starting, we are gaining our match fitness in the Coppa Italia, as you see. We're going to have a couple of friendlies before kicking off the season. We are so ready for it all. So why not just kick off? This is going to be so exciting. Can we beat another Serie B team? The, the Verona team is going to be a handful for us. Take a look at this. Moise Keane, one of the biggest talent in this game starting on top for Verona he's only 17 Alessio Cerci he played in Atletico Madrid for a couple of seasons ago for Sati is a uh, decent player uh, Hertois the Frenchman Nicola in goal they were all in Serie A with Verona when they were there last time but the, it is it is up to the, these guys to go and do the job what should we say today Despite the odds, should we go passionate? It's okay, assertive. Come on, guys. We are going to be so ready for this battle. Stario Marco Anto Antonio Bentegori has a capacity of up to 32,000 spectators, but I could see there's not today. But the kickoff. Let's go. Most keen to Sakanyi, and the first shot of the match is actually pretty close with 15 seconds into the game. Maybe I forgot a very important thing. I would like to play counter today, of course. Come on, guys. My bad. I just uh, I forgot to tell you. Counter, guys. Counter. Just like this. Ale Alex with the free kick. Rovini is in today playing instead of Reginaldo, who got injured in the last game. Rovini is actually playing on the right flank as an inside forward. They move the ball around at Vives, the defensive midfielder with the long shot, but safe hands from Nicola. Five minutes into this game, we have taken uh, a couple of hundreds Pro Vercelli fans with us in the bus. It was a long ride. Here is a corner kick from Fasati. Verona on the ball. Is it a corner kick from the Frenchman? And we are down 1-0. Same thing happened in the game against Citadella. So no worries, guys. We know we can go and get the goals. Lee Sung Woo is stopped. But it's illegal. Vives gets a red card after 12 minutes. That's not going to make this any easier. Our most experienced guy is kicked off. What can we do? We need to continue now. We need to continue with 10 men against 11. That is uphill battle, guys. I can see Cherchi is a little bit injured at the Verona team. So let's continue. Don't give up. Here we are with a corner kick. We're going to be efficient from this these kind of set-piece situations. Pinamonti with the ball. He should be in the box receiving it. But can he cross it now? He can. Great cross. Verona clears the ball and uh, once again Lee Song with the ball. It's a counter from Moise Keen. Coming here. Up to our defenders. Long shot from Cherchi. No danger at all. Come on guys, I know we can do this. Yes, keep on creating something. Here is Camano. 
great run from Rovini. Further on to Murkia and Rovini again. It's another corner kick for us. We are a team who gets a lot of corner kicks. We find out in the friendlies and in the last Coppa Italia match, there is Mamarella with the corner. Almost crossing all the way through. But Verona did clear once again. Come on, keep on the pressure. 10 against 11, we can't see that. But 10 Provacelli uh, people is a lot stronger than the Verona's. Alex, big, big chance. And Nicola can't hold on to the ball. Another corner is coming up. We have to go in to score at least on a couple of these th chances. Verona clears once again. And it's in Monti going for the ball. Finding Morgia. Can we get a chance out of this? Germano, there's room for Alex. There is room for Alex. Not the best finisher yet. We have seen that. A couple of good chances. This is good, guys. Mamarella with a throw in. Murgia picks it up. Germano. Can we get the ball to Pignamonti in any way? He's dangerous in there. Germano and Murgia. They find Alex. They find Rovini. It is another corner kick. Rovini seems up for this as well. Corner kick from Germano. Come on, hit a Provocello player this time. We go for the short one. That's not better at all. Murgia has been tackled by Keen and counter attack from Verona coming up. Stop those guys. Cherchi. He can cross the ball and he does, but no problem for Pigliatelli. Our great goalkeeper. Mamarella. Free kick. Into the box. Here it comes. Is it Alex? It is Alex with a header. Okay. He is seeking the chances today. I like that. It took him two and a half uh, last time. Two and a half halves to get into the competition to the game. Murgia. Yeah, you excuse me. I'm totally nervous about this. Alex with a great shot this time. Nicola must save it and give a corner kick. Come on, get out of this time. There we go. Murgia with the header. It's just over but we're playing very good since we lost our man to red card we actually dominated the game creating six corner kicks eight shots and four on target keep on going guys calabria germano first time rurini murgia he's been tackled but germano backs him up calabria come with the cross germano murgia we need a little bit of space Maybe here Calabria, great cross, and there is room for Alex. What is this? Alex falls down, he's dead. It's an injury, it's an injury to Alex. He's played great today, really aggressive coming. But what a half, what a half. Now we have to play Mamadou Kanote. He is a bit of a wild card, Kanote. He played a couple of friendlies, and he did show his flair, he is quick. And actually, he cuts inside also. We are going to play with two inside forwards now. Down 10 men. One injury for Alex, who was playing for once very, very good. It's almost half time. What a half. One goal for Verona, and we just hook over from there. Here they are. Clear that shit. Belkemeli clears it. Sakanyi from Verona tries to get the ball to Buchel. Long shot. Once again, a long shot from Verona. We can live with that, absolutely. 1-0, Verona is up at the halftime. But I'm very positive. We can do this. We've actually been the better team. Come on. No more injuries, guys. Nope, we're ready for this. Come on, let's take the game to them in the second half. Keep on creating chances like we did in the first. Murgia. He is our playmaker controlling the midfield. Canote. First time he touched the ball. Back to Murgia. Germano and Murgia. Here is Canote. Finds Rovini. You can shoot Rovini. Ah, that was a bad shot. He didn't hit it very good at all. Okay, come on guys. Keep concentrating. Keep believing. We can do this. I can feel it. Verona is coming with nothing. And they're man up. 11 players, 10. We handled that very good until now. 
60 minutes in, nothing happening, happening, no highlights, not at all. What can we do? Let's take a look at the players. Mordecai's really tired. And I really want to see Castilla. But it's going to be instead of Germano. What is the 6-10? No. Actually, we're going to substitute our captain, Carlo Mamarella. He is 35. And we have the Croatian, Matteo Bertosa. He played very good in our friendlies. I would like to see that for this game as well. Come on, Bertosa. He enters the field. Mamarella can come out, take a slurp of water and take it easy. I'm so hopeful for, for the guys to find that one chance and exploit it and score the goal. We haven't seen Pina Monchi set up at all in this game. Calabria fighting very good for this ball. Verona trying to set up something up. They are a man up. Is it going to mean a lot? Here is a cross. It hits the post. Moschin hits the post, but we clears it. Here we go. Morgia. Check out the run from Rubini. Yes, he finds him. Morgia again. Rubini, lots of room. Can't find him, but he finds Canote. He goes for the shot and it's blocked. Moiskin, he is dangerous. Get him, guys. Bertosa, there we saw the creation. And now the substitution will come up on the midfield. But I simply can remove Murgia from this game. Castilla, you have to come in from Germano. And we're going to play with our third team captain for this game. It's been a mess. It's been a mess this game so far. But can we find that one goal? Go into extra time. Bertosa with a throw in. Here comes Murgia. He has so many touches on the ball. Castilla for the first time trying to find Rovini in offside. Here is Castilla. We have a player out there. But he turns the ball down. Back to defense. Maybe that was a good idea, because here is Calabria. Great cross. The goalkeeper removes the danger. And what a counter attack coming up from Moise Keen. Ooh, he didn't hit the ball very well. Lucky for us, guys. Come on, guys. Keep on going. So many chances. We must find that goal. Verona, and there Moise Keen is being substituted. Now guys, now it is. Now it's not enough with the counter. We have to go attacking. Come on guys. I know you could do this. We want to move on further in this Coppa Italia. Five minutes left of regulation time. And then we head into a little bit, bit of injury time. There has been a red card, some injuries and stuff. Here was a yellow card for Bergamelli and a free kick from Verona. Please remove this one. Murgia does. And let's go for the counter this time. Rovini, Pina Monchi. We haven't seen you at all this game. Now it is. Here comes Castilla. Ah, not good enough. Please create a couple of chances more like this, please. This is down to crunch time. Demand the last energy out of the guys. Are we going to be eliminated of this competition? Three minutes added, that's not much. One more chance, guys. One more chance, come up with it. Here we go. Verona taking their time on the ball and it's over. It is a 1-0 win for Verona from Serie B and we're out. It's not a catastrophe, not at all. You absolutely, you actually did fine, guys. But just couldn't find it. Couldn't find the goal. We did create a lot of chances, but we couldn't handle Verona at the Stadio Marco Antonio Bentegori. But now we can concentrate entirely on the Serie C. Let's gain that, that promotion as quick as possible. I'm so sorry we did get eliminated. So unlucky. So unlucky to get eliminated from this from this Coppa Italia when we had the chances to go and kick out Verona of this tournament. But Verona, we couldn't touch them. We couldn't score the goal. We had a lot of chances, but not today, gentlemen. We are out of the Coppa Italia. I don't think I'll bring in any more 
uh, transfer subjects. This is the team. We have a large squad. We can go with a lot of rotation and we have the guys to get the promotion for this team. Before the next episode, I will play a couple of friendlies and we'll come back and play the first the opening match of the Italian Serie C and go for the hunt for the Scudetto. Until next time, guys. See you.